But at that time, Sam was really, he was just a bad guy. We didn't know why he was a bad guy. We just saw a man that was out there and he was kind of cold hearted and a killer. And, and so when I came on, I, you know, what I wanted to do and in talking to Jonas, it was about making this character have more to him, uh, more complex. Um, not that I wanted to make him sympathetic necessarily, but it, in, in looking for those moments where he can become sympathetic, like any character I've played in my life that is a bad guy, I want the audience to understand how this man came to be in this circumstance. And you don't have to like him, but there's going to be a piece of you that kind of understands why he is doing the horrible things that he's doing. Um, and that's sort of the fun in, in, in taking on a role like Sam and, and doing a movie like this. You know, there's great people involved. And it comes down to myself and Gael uh, at the end here, and it's very much a manhunter, mano mano type action, suspense, thriller at the end, but I think before we get to that moment of, of suspense and the thrill ride, I think you're going to see a really good kind of character study of these two guys and who they are and, and what has brought them to this point in history of their lives. One of the reasons I wanted to do this was, you know, for one, it was uh, in us, and, uh, and the other was, was Gael. So, I mean, I think that that two-man combination uh, made me really want to be a part of it. It's kind of tenfold. Um, I think the challenge first was, and has been as we shoot, finding the right notes for the character I'm playing. Um, it's been very fluid as far as changes and, and, and what Jonas and I are thinking we should be doing. So there's been a lot of very fluid changes. I don't know how else to put it. We're changing a lot as we go and as we shoot, there's been a lot of changes. But, but the, the, the biggest hurdle I think that this movie's had are uh, the physicality of it, the physicality and, and the location. I mean, we're driving you know, two hours every day to get to a location. And if you look around, and I know you've done a ton of footage, we're in the middle of nowhere. And so hiking, not only ourselves, but the equipment and uh, this crew has been extraordinary uh, in their, their I, I can't believe no one's got hurt. Uh, it's beyond me because it's, it's, it's been crazy. Uh, a lot of dangerous stuff for not only us actors, but for the crew as well. Um, and knock on rock. So far, everybody's in good shape. Tracker, my, my boy, my, uh, my sweet and loyal dog in this film. Uh, he's great. Uh, it was three dogs that we used uh, for, for the role of Tracker, but uh, one in particular I did most of my work with was Kraken. Uh, I think he was a year and nine months old and a sweet, sweet German Shepherd. Um, his first movie, I believe, and he was spectacular. Uh, never did anything the same way twice so it was always you'd always kind of wonder i wonder how he's going to do on this scene um but uh, a sweet dog and as the movie went on i obviously you know him him and I, our relationship became much better uh as the movie went on when we first started he was kind of all about his trainer oscar uh who's phenomenal but he would be looking for Oscar at any given moment, especially while the cameras were rolling. And toward the end there, I think uh, old Kraken started trusting me, and, and, uh, and I think we caught some of it on film, which would be really great. 